Good day everyone, this is Wendy Alola Alabastro, a second year student taking up Bachelor of Science in Mathematics. And today, let's learn about permutation and combination. Permutation and combination. Introduction. Permutation and combination are the ways to represent a group of objects by selecting them in a set and forming subsets. It defines the various ways to arrange a certain group of data. When we select the data or objects from a certain group, it is said to be permutations, whereas the order in which they are represented is called combination. Now, let's discuss about permutation. Permutation relates to the act of arranging all the members of a set into some sequence or order. If the set is already ordered, then the rearranging of its elements is called the process of permuting. It is used for the list of data where the order of data matters. Formula A permutation is the choice of R things from a set of N things without replacement and where the order matters. So our for formula is prescript of n p subscript of r is equal to n factorial over the quantity n minus r factorial where n is less than or equal to n. Now let's discuss about the combination. It is a way of selecting items from a collection such that the order of selection does not matter. It is a selection of R objects from a group of N objects without regard to order. It is used for a group of data where the order of data doesn't matter. Formula A combination is a choice of R things from a set of N things without replacement and where the orders does not matter. So our formula is prescript of n c subscript of r is equal to n factorial over the quantity n minus r factorial times r factorial where r is less than or equal to n. Now let's go to the example in, in finding the permutation. Find the number of ways of forming six digit codes in which no digit is repeated. Solution Select six digits from a group of 10. Therefore, our n is equal to 10 and our r is equal to 6. Using the formula prescript of n, prescript of n, p subscript of r is equal to n factorial over the quantity n minus r factorial, we have 10 p6 is equal to 10 factorial over the quantity 10 minus 6 factorial is equal to 10 factorial over 4 factorial coming from 10 minus 6 is equal to 10 times 9 times 8 times 7 times 6 times 5 times 4 factorial and then we cancel out the 4 factorial from the numerator and also from the denominator and then 10 times 9 times 8 times 7 times 6 times 5 is equal to 151,200 151,200 ways of forming six digit codes in which no digit is repeated now let's go to the example of combination here is our problem Two girls will go to a party. In between the two, they have four pairs of fancy shoes. Define the combination of shoes these two girls can wear. Solution N is equal to 4. This refers to the pairs of fancy shoes. And R is equal to the is equal to 2. This refers to the two girls. So using the formula, prescript of N c subscript of r is equal to n factorial over the quantity n minus r 
factorial times r factorial, we have 4 c2 is equal to 4 factorial over the quantity 4 minus 2 factorial times 2 factorial. We have 4 times 3 times 2 factorial over the quantity 4 minus 2 factorial times 2 factorial. And then we cancel out the 2 factorial from the numerator and from the denominator. So we have 4 times 3 over 2 factorial. 4 times 3 is equal to 12 and 2 times 1 is equal to 2. Therefore, 4c2 is equal to 6. Then, so, there, the, com the combination of shoes that two girls can wear is equal to 6. And that would be all. Thank you for watching.